decided by who gets... What are we doing here? This guy can tell us. Yes, he can. Meet Ivor the Ironworks man. Ready to give the boys the info. Ivor, okay, right. what is his place? Well, this is one of six furnaces at Blaine Ivor Ironworks. Where we're standing right now, there used to there would have been a brew of big pot, was there? A big pot? The temperature year 200 years ago would have been 1,500 degrees Celsius. Wow. Iron ore would be roasted in kilns and then along with the coal and limestone, it was heated to over 1,500 degrees Celsius. The molten metal was carefully poured out of the furnace and into channels where it could cool to form pig iron. So cold because the channels looked like a sow and a baby piglet. Ow! Was it real dangerous here to work here? It was a very, very dangerous place to work. It came out white hot, it'd be blinding. Let's go find out more. The boys have sussed out that working in the Industrial Revolution was dangerous, but they'll also need to show their tourists where those workers lived. Ivor, let's go check it out. This is a working class cottage. This would be the living room. This is where everybody would have, uh, would have come down. There was no running water, <gasps> no sewage, <gasps> electricity, no Jedward CDs. <gasps> no Jedward CDs? These cottages would have between 18 and 19 people living in them. Where did everyone sleep in here? I can show you. So you're saying 19 people stayed in this small house? Yeah, two up, two down. And these beds were never, never cold, because the ironworks never closed. So as one shift would be coming off, then you guys would be getting up and going to work. It's very different to bedrooms of today. There could have been eight or nine people sharing this tiny house. So you'd have to be really smelly to be able to wangle a room of your own. Children? probably wouldn't have even had their own beds. They'd have to sleep on the floor instead. And that didn't mean a nice warm carpet. It meant a cold, hard floor. No furniture and, of course, no electricity. So the boys have been given the lowdown on the Victorian home. Just, John, stop. We're going to break the floor. Now they need to find out how the workers spent their hard-earned wages. It's time for a trip to the Victorian shop. This is a company shop. After you've done your four to six weeks work, the company will pay you in tokens. Tokens? That's what's called the truck system. You can only spend them in a shop. You can only buy goods that the, um, the owners think that you're going to need. And all at 30% yeah. more than anywhere else. So it's a rip-off. Do they sell hair gel? No, no hair, hair gel. Spray? No. We've got gruel. Gruel? It looks sick. It looks totally yuck. Everyone liked eating this back then. Yeah. That's yeah. Some... Oh, ew! And there'll be lots more Victorian gruel to come for the losing tour guide. The winner, however, will be decided by who gets across the most correct facts to the tourists. Let's fight.